Hey everybody, kumusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ and joining me is obviously my favorite co-host, Marky Mark. What is JR that? is chilling at Sportsnet right now. <laughs> he probably is, he wants to give us content too, so stay tuned for that. But let's go straight into it. What do you have for us? We had fantasy, right? We had a fantasy draft, mm -hmm. actually. So, um, quick news, right? His brother will be playing for him. So, let's yeah. break down the first three rounds of the draft. Pretty cool. We got Giannis as the first pick. I mean, rise and grind, that's Ray Ray. Mm -hmm. Good job in that pick, right? So, let's evaluate your brother's pick. Let's see what you My think brother, of it. What? Your brother Anthony picked Davis. Anthony Davis as the fifth pick. What do you think about that? I like Anthony Davis, actually. I'm, you, I'm okay with that. You okay he's, with he's that? A good Bef player. Over Steph Curry? Okay, I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't really analyze my brother's pick. I just let's gave, do it now. That's what we're doing. I I, I I give him trust because I won last year, so I really hope that he can, he can back to back. All right. How about his second pick, Devin Booker? Devin Booker. I like Devin Booker. You like Devin Booker? But the thing is, I like who he chose, but I don't know who he chose, like who was who was before that. Yeah. So I don't know. So like you more like the aftermath. So you got, there is Kevin Love, Hayward, mm -hmm. Kemba that was picked. Uh, after you, uh, he picked Devin Booker, and then his last pick for the third round, he picked Joel Embiid. How, what do you think about that pick, Joel Embiid on the third round? I'm, 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 you're asking the wrong person. I'm not really a <laughs> fantasy guy. Do you I'm trust like, the process? I trust the process. <laughs> That's Joel Embiid. That's why I'm saying if you want to, Mark is actually the the guru of fantasy. So if if I want to know, I want to see if there any Filipinos can beat Mark, because Mark wins every <laughs> fantasy league. I'm saying, who knows, we'll have cash prize, in, I don't know, two years from now, next year. But like, Mark's good. If you're good at basketball, if you're good at fantasy and drafting, why not join our league? And our league's full this time. You know, our crossover, we have 14 teams, 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 guys. Teams Shout out to all our players. Shout out right to all you guys. I think my brother's going to win, though. <laughs> Trust. Let's get into the rundown and get okay. to some good topics, let's right? Do it. What let's, questions? Let's go through our first one. Mm. Are you worried about Kawhi's injury right now? He has a, he's suffering to a quad injury. They just played, he missed mm. the season opener. I, I, Spurs is my team, actually. Yeah. I love Spurs. My, my family loves Spurs. Duncan's gone, but Kawhi is the franchise. I feel like he needs to be on the court to be to be an influencer, obviously. And just seeing that he's he missed the season opener, I don't... And they won, too. The, they won, too. Keep in mind. Which is like, good. The this is such is a deep team. Spurs have, you know, at least 10, 10 player deep, and that's mm. what's good about playing for the Spurs. And I think he could have an MVP season, right? Mm -hmm. How about how about uh, Jamon's injury? He just suffered... You know, a lot of people um, realize that, you know, Steph, Clay, and Durant may be the, a better player on Jamon, but I think... Without Draymond, if you guys didn't watch, they lost the lead to the Houston Rockets and they ended up losing their season opener. Mm. Are you worried about Draymond's injury? He does so many things on the court, yeah. but what, I'm, what I, what I th still think that he's going to be an influencer is on the bench. He's a, very, he's a leader, he's very vocal, <laughs> and I think, of course, you're going to miss him on, um, on the court, you know, hustling for plays, making good decisions, but just him being on the bench leading um, the team, in a, in a way, being very vocal. I think I, I think he'll still be an influencer, yeah. yeah. I feel also, and like, this is just my opinion, but I feel like Steph, Clay, and, and Durant may be the, be the better player, but I feel like without Draymond, there's something that's missing in them that can't be duplicated, whereas Steph, Curry, and Durant can duplicate a lot of things that they do, such as playmaking, mm -hmm. shooting, and moving without the basketball. That's kind of all the things that they can do and can duplicate, but without Draymond, there's you can't duplicate what he does. It's kind of like the Dennis Rodman of the Chicago Bulls. Right? Mm -hmm. And last thing is, I know we suffered oh, this man. gruesome injury, but um, you know, prayers for him. I know he. I hope he has a speedy recovery. Yep. I hope he recovers like how Paul George did. What does Hay Hayward's injury do to the East? And does this, you know, what does this do for the Cavaliers' path to going again to the finals? I think a lot of people really like thought that Boston would automatically be up there, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't know, the announcers, when I was watching the game, I watched the Boston, um, the Boston announcers, they did say that it was a process, they still have to like, you know, get chemistry mm -hmm. together. To gel together. Exactly, but yeah. Hayward could have been that person where this year, they could have been really high, they could have gave, you know. You could have had that time to mesh together, exactly. so that it would have been faster to get. And he's such a good player, and who's gonna replace him, Smart? I'm not really a fan of Smart, I don't yeah. think he's that. Smart, I felt like he was um, not to you know disregard how good Kyrie is, but I felt like he was the better, he was the best player in that team because mm -hmm. he can play two. He's a two-way player. He he defends and he does all the other little things. Mm -hmm. And you see in his development, and it, it's good to see that you know to get a player like that in Boston, it was mm -hmm. big for them because mm -hmm. they never had someone that can play 
a two you know a two way player and so polished offensively. And so much right? expectations, especially exactly. since Kyrie was there, Hayward's there. But like to get injured in front of your coaching staff, like the, the those Boston coaches was his Butler staff, yeah. and that that must have been very emotional. And a lot of like players did, you know, you saw the reaction of, it. and it happened like early in the game. It's such a freak accident, so unfortunate. But I believe that he can he can get back. He's not he's not like a really um, he's not like a Westbrook or Derrick Rose who has to be athletic. Like he's very polished, like you said. His game is does like his game actually felt like it complemented Kyrie Irving's game because yeah. he doesn't need to have the ball in his hand, but he can make plays also when he he's running that. You know the when when he watched him play in Utah, he was the one running the offense for them. I mean, Georgia was a great player, but he's not a pure point guard. It was him throughout the playoffs. If you watch them, mm -hmm. he was a you know polished offensively. He can move it out the ball, and he can he can also play make for them. And that's one thing that they're going to lose. And and but this is going to give chances for the young players like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown to develop. Mm -hmm. But as for Cavs, what do you think? You know, does this really hinder anything about the Cavs? No, I think Cavs are good. I like Jeff Green, yeah. LeBron. <laughs> they're deep. Funny, LeBron still did really well, and he said at the end of the interview he was unconditioned, <laughs> dropping so much stats. So the, I still think they're going to be up there, and uh, it's going to be a fun season. New, new it's going to be a players. fun season. And I just, it just proves to show, like, I don't think that Boston's going to get in the way of the Cavs. I think they would have put, you know, some challenges, but it would have been great for them to develop that early, that chemistry, mm -hmm. so that by next year or two, they are, a, you know, a legit title contender.